to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord, you fill the hills of Judea with joy at the wondrous birth of John. Fill us with also with joy as we celebrate his birth. May we hear your voice proclaiming the good news of your coming and do your will. We cry out with Zechariah, blessed be the Lord God, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with the church and her children. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Son, the eternal Word and radiance of the Father, who before he took flesh and became man, sent John to prepare his way. Baruch Mora Borish To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives, now and forever. Today we sing praise to you, O John, messenger, forerunner, and baptizer, saying, You are the child whose birth was announced by an angel sent by God. You are the voice crying out in the wilderness, and the prophet to whom the mystery of the Lord was revealed while still in your mother's womb. You are the covenant linking the two covenants, for ye brought the old covenant to an end and began the new. You are great among the children of women, and you came to tell us of the Most High. You are a sign of God's mercy and an apostle to the King of Peace. You are the star who guides us to the true light coming into the world, and you give light to churches, monasteries, and convents. Now, O Prophet of the Most High, we ask you with the fragrance of this incense to obtain the miraculous grace of Christ for us so that our souls may be adorned with good works as we witness to the true faith. With Zechariah, your father, and Elizabeth, your mother, we glorify the Father who sent you. We worship the Son whom you longed to see while you were still in the womb. And we give thanks to the Spirit who sanctified you before you were born. Baruch Moraborish Kohne. To the Most Holy Trinity be glory and thanks now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Zacharias, house resounds with thanks and glory. Lord Jesus, extend your holy right hand upon your faithful people and bless your flock. 
Accept this incense that we have offered to you on this feast of the birth of John the Forerunner. Make us worthy to praise and glorify you with spiritual hymns, Baruch Morabun. And to give thanks to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. For my spirit, our conscience, so that you might praise with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. فصلٌ من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول إلى أهل غلاطيا وبارك يا سيد المجد لسيد بولس والرسول تحلم رحم الله على القارئ والسمعين وعلى هذه الأبرشية وأبنائها الآن وإلى الأبد آمين يا إخوتي قولوا لي أنتم الذين تريدون أن تكونوا في حكم الشريعة أما تسمعون الشريعة فإنه مكتوب كان لإبراهيم ابنان واحد من الجارية وواحد من الحرة أما الذي من الجارية فقد ولد بحسب الجسد وأما الذي من الحرة فبقوة الوعد وفي ذلك رمز فسارة وهاجر تمثلان عهدين عهدا من جبل سيناء يلد للعبودية وهو هاجر لأن هاجر هي جبل سيناء الذي في بلاد العرب وتوافق أورشليم الحالية لأنها في العبودية هي وأولادها أما أورشليم العليا فهي حرة وهي أمنا لأنه مكتوب إفرحي أيتها العاقر التي لم تلد إن دفعي بالترانيم واصرخي أيتها التي لم تتمخض لأن أولاد المهجورة أكثر من أولاد المتزوجة أما أنتم أيها الإخوة فإنكم أولاد الوعد مثل إسحاق ولكن كما كان حينئذ المولود بحسب الجسد يضطهد المولود بحسب الروح فكذلك الآن أيضا ولكن ماذا يقول الكتاب؟ أطرد الجارية وابنها لأن ابن الجارية لا يرث مع ابن الحرة إذا أيها الإخوة لسنا أولاد الجارية 
بل أولاد الحرة إن المسيح قد حررنا لنبقى أحرارا فاثبتوا إذا ولا تعودوا تقدعون لنير العبودية والتسبيح لله دائما A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians with your blessing, Your Excellency. Brothers and sisters, tell me, you who desire to be subject to the law, will you not listen to the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave woman and the other by a free woman. One the child of the slave was born according to the flesh. The other, the child of the free woman, was born through the promise. Now this is an allegory. These women are two covenants. One woman, in fact, is Hagar from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. Now Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem for she is in slavery with her children. But the other woman corresponds to the Jerusalem above. She is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, ye childless one, you who bear no children, burst into song and shout, you who endure no birth pangs. For the children of the desolate woman are more numerous than the children of the one who is married. Now you, my friends, are children of the promise like Isaac. But just as at that time the child who was born according to the flesh persecuted the child who was born according to the spirit, so it is now also. But what does scripture say? Drive out the slave and her child, For the child of the slave will not share the inheritance with the child of the free woman. So then, friends, we are children, not of the slave, but of the free woman. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Praise be to God always. proclamation of the gospel of our Savior, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. وسموه باسم أبيه ذكريا فأجابت أمه وقالت لا بل يسمى يوحنا فقالوا لها لا أحد في قرابته يدعى بهذا الاسم وأشاروا إلى أبيه ماذا يريد أن يسميه فطلب لوحا وكتب اسمه يوحنا فتعجبوا فتعجبوا جميعهم وانفتح فجأة فم زكريا وانطلق لسانه وجعل يتكلم ويبارك الله 
فاستولى الخوف على جميع جيرانهم وتحدث الناس بكل هذه الأمور في كل جبل اليهودية وكان كل من سمع بذلك يحفظه في قلبه قائلا ما عسى هذا الطفل أن يكون وكانت يد الرب حقا معه From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising the Lord. Fear came over all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us his words of life. The mercy Reverend fathers and subdeacon, dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ our Lord. This Sunday in our Maronite liturgy, we witness with Zechariah and Elizabeth the fulfillment of the first of the announcement in this season of glorious birth of our Lord. The birth of John the Baptist is a joyful occasion for the household that long awaited the Son. Our eparchy also rejoices this week and celebrates the ordination of its son, our new priest, Father Sherbildib, ordained a few days ago in this cathedral. And he is consecrating with us for the first time during this Mass. When St. John was born, his mother Elizabeth was congratulated by her neighbors and relatives. They had thought she would never bear a child, but then the Lord had mercy upon her, and we are told they rejoice with her. This is a central point, although these same people had felt perhaps Elizabeth had sinned and so was being punished by having no children. When they knew what had happened, they dropped their criticism and shared in her gladness. They also took an interest in this most unexpected birth, and so when the child was about to be circumcised on the eighth day after his birth, in accordance with the Jewish custom, the family and neighbors gathered around. When it came to the question of his name, Zechariah, his father, could not speak because he did not believe the word of the angel Gabriel. The family and friends said that the boy should be named Zechariah after his father. This shows that the practice in naming children after someone in the family was as well known in ancient Israel as it is in modern day. However, Elizabeth opposed this, saying, no, he shall be called John. Why did Elizabeth choose the name John? 
it means God is gracious. Or as we should say today, God is merciful, Rahum or Hanun. Elizabeth wished by this name to make another announcement, one which people would remember whenever they spoke the name of her child, that God had been gracious to her. But the people could not understand this. They were still thinking in terms of family history. They did not realize that God had intervened in history in a most extraordinary way. Only then did they approach Zechariah inquiring of him what he wanted his son to be named. He took a writing tablet and there put down his answer. His name is John. The people, we are told, were very surprised at this, but that was only the first surprise. Immediately after he had done this, Zechariah was able to speak again. And when he did, the first thing he uttered was praising the Lord. Then the people knew that God was active in their midst. St. Luke tells us that the joyful news spread throughout Judea. St. Luke adds this note, and the hand of the Lord was with him, meaning with John the Baptist. The birth of St. John and the manner in which it occurred was an announcement of the work of God. The people took a long time to believe that it was the hand of God behind these unusual events, believing only when Zechariah miraculously regained his voice. They had never heard of nor experienced anything like this. But we are not in the same position now. We do know of the operation of God in history. We do know that he is the Lord of all creation and that although sin and death have entered it through disobedience, yet he had a plan for salvation. He has allowed his plan to slowly unfold. The centerpiece of God's plan of salvation is of course the life, passion, death, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, who founded his church upon the rock and who instituted the sacrament so that divine grace could be assured to his flock. But we all have a role in that plan, no matter how humble we are. Whether an old man like Zechariah, an old woman like Elizabeth, a child like John, or one of the many family and neighbors who had something to say about what was happening before their astonished eyes. And we cannot take part in God's plan unless we know both that it exists and have faith that it is good. When we do good, whether we are attending mass or saying our prayers, helping someone in need, being patient with a crying child, or listening patiently to someone with a long story to tell, we are to taking a positive part in God's plan of salvation. It may be only a small thing we do, but that does not matter. What matters is that it is a good thing done for the love of God. And when we do it, we are stepping out of the crowd of people who do little more than watch and talk. We become actors on the biggest stage of all, the stage of God action in the world. You will recall that at the beginning I said it was a central point that the family and relatives were not jealous of Elizabeth, but rather rejoicing with her when she bore a son. The same can also be true of us, just as we can step forward and play part in the unfolding of God's plan of salvation, so too other people can and we should not envy them. We should not want blessing only for ourselves or our friends, we should want to be able to rejoice when we see God things happening to others. But too often, like the people in today's gospel, when we see grace at work in the world, we see only the outer action. We don't see the hand behind it, the hand of God. If we did, then like Zechariah, the first words to leave our mouth would be praise of God. 
May we, in our preparation for Christmas, recall the mercy of God in our lives and in turn show mercy towards our brothers and sisters. May our lips sing the glory of God and only utter words of kindness, mercy, and truth. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of, of heaven, and heaven and earth, earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of our sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. الوت مر بحيد الو هو الوت الو دم حادي تليوت وين بصوب الطيب وتوخ يعول البيت وسود بعيك لوت Almighty Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you for a holy name. Share your spiritual blessings upon them in place of their earthly gifts. Grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. Amen. نتكون على هذا القرباء الموضوع ما منا جميعا الذين حسن رضي الله من آدم حتى اليوم لا سيما الطبوية والدة الله مريم مار مرو ومار شرق قديس رفق والقديس نعمتالة والقديس ماري صليب مكلف وكل القديسين أذكر اللهم أبانا وإخوة الناحي والأموات ابناء البيعة المقدسة بخاصة من تقدم عنهم هذه الذبيحة وذكر جميع المشتركين معنا اليوم في هذا القرباء آمين to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Merciful and Holy Lord and Father, through your only begotten Son, you prepare the spiritual banquet for us. Accept the offering of this bloodless sacrifice grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit. 
Make us worthy to give one another gift of peace with the pure hearts and divine love, that you may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, to your only Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum ya masbahallah. Assalamu alaikum asrar al-muqaddas al-mudu'a alaik. Assalamu alaikum ya ikhwati al-ahibba. peace and security and your true love and divine mercy be with us and among us all the days of our lives Baruch Morabon Rish Kohne that we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever Amen O Lord we bow before you and ask you to look upon us with mercy make us worthy to approach your holy altar with a pure hearts and holy souls and bodies Baruch Mora Borish Kohne. That we raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion wedding of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, now and forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence, worship Him with humility. Is His right and just. Truly, it's right and just to glorify and praise you, O God the Father, for you are holy and the giver of life. You are blessed with your only begotten Son and living Holy Spirit. You are surrounded by the cherubim and seraphim who sing with pure voices and heavenly melodies. Thy cry out, glorify and proclaim. God the Father, full of mercy. Holy is your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy is your life giving Spirit. You are holy and the giver of all that is good. For our salvation, your only begotten Son became flesh of the pure Virgin Mary. By his divine plan, he saved and redeemed us. Sab al-lahmo bidaw qadishotu Farikhu qadish Waqsu yabl talmidaw kadumar Sab akhul minikul khul Ono denitaw favru Dahlu faykum, wahlu fsagiyya, mitqtsi wa mitihib, husayat hawbi wal hai, dal ulam ulmi. Amin. Hu khanu al kusu dam zigu min hamru min mayu, بارخ قادش ويبل تلميدا وكادمار سابشتا ومن كل خول أنا دنيت مودي الديات قحداته 
Dahluf ikun wahluf sagi, mete shedu meti heb. Husayat hawbe wal hai, dal alam alni. Whenever you eat this bread, drink this cup, you do so in memory of me until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, lover of all people, we remember your plan of salvation. We ask you to have mercy on your worshippers and to save your inheritance. When you appear at the end of time to reward all people justly according to their deeds, for this your church implores you and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we yourself and church receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God. Have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for Sanctification, let us stand with reverence as we pray. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, and as your life giving spirit from heaven to over over the suffering, to make it all life giving body and blood, and to pardon and sanctify us. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord, hear us, O Lord, and may your living Holy Spirit come down upon us and upon our offering. He may make this bread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mixture and this chalice the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May these holy mysteries be for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of souls and bodies, and the strengthening of consciences, so that none of your faithful may perish. Rather, make us worthy to live by your Spirit and lead pure life. And we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. We offer you, O Lord, this divine sacrifice for your church, especially for our fathers and shepherds, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Bashar of Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, and Antoine Shadabil, our Bishop, and all the bishops of the true faith. With blameless lives and with purity and holiness, may they guide your church and present to you a faithful people who honor your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Fitaskar Mawlidi Yohanna al Mamadan. نسألك يا رب أن تعظم رحمتك لنا وللعالم وترسل مسؤولين روحيين وزمنيين وعسكريين يعمل من أجل إحلال العدل والمحبة والسلام والحرية نسألك يا رب يا رب برحم في تذكار مولد يوحنا المعمدان وبشفاعته وشفاعة مريم سيدة لبنان ومار يوسف نطلب منك يا رب أن تجعلنا شهودا لمحبتك أعطي الآباء والأمهات النعمة ليقدموا تربية صالحة أما الأهل الذين لا أولاد لهم هبهم أن يؤسسوا عائلة من نوع آخر تنمو في عمل المحبة تجاه اليتامى والمرضى والفقراء نسألك يا رب يا رب برحم Heavenly Father Show your great mercy to us and to the whole world as you showed your mercy to Zechariah and Elizabeth. Prepare our hearts to be an open home for the coming of your Son, who for our freedom he has set us free. 
help all struggling individuals, families and countries that they may experience the beauty of a peaceful life, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Through the intercession of John the Baptist, who came into the world to prepare the way of the Lord, and through the prayers of Our Lady of Lebanon, Saint Joseph and all the saints, grant us, Lord, to be a way for the love, peace and joy of Jesus to others' hearts. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> المنتقل منا إليك الراقدين على رجائك المنتظرين ذلك الصوت المحي الذي سيدوم إلى الحياة اقبل القرابين التي نقدمها لك عنهم وأرحهم في ملكوتك لأن واحد ضع الأرض بلا خطيئة وهو ربنا يسوع الذي بواسطته نرجو أن نال مراحم وغفران خطيانا وخطياهم أريح اللهم الموتى وغفر خطيانا التي اقترفناها بمعرفة وبغير معرفة let us pardon, O God, forgive us and the departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us in all things, with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. the pleasing oblation who offered yourself for us. You, you are, are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You, you are the high priest who offered yourself as a lamb. Through your, your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. Compassionate Lord, may we, your lowly servants, be made worthy to pray with the purity and holiness and to call upon you praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from the evil one and from his deceitful ways. And do not forsake us, lest temptation overcome us. For yours is the kingdom with your only Son and your Holy Spirit. Baruch Now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Saviour, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O Lord, bless your faithful people who bow before you. Deliver us from all harm. Make us worthy to share in these divine mysteries with purity and holiness, that through them we may be forgiven and made holy, and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. The grace of the Most Holy Trinity, eternal consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, now and forever. And with your spirit, let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy with perfection, purity and sanctity.
make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Brothers and sisters, as you follow on this liturgy from your homes, we encourage you to pray the act of spiritual communion, saying, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I now embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Again, we thank you, Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink, lover of all people. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people. Have mercy on us. نشكرك أيها الرب الإله الآب ونبتغ إليك أن تكون هذه الشاكة إلهية لمغفرة الخطايا والمجلس منك القدوس وابنك الوحيد وروحك القدوس بارخ مورا بورش كهني لا نويل لبا آمين Peace be with you and with your spirit Lord Jesus our God and Savior you became flesh for our sake and by sacrificing yourself you saved us 
Deliver us from damnation and make us temples of your holy name. For we are your people and your inheritance. Baruch Morabu and Rishkohne. That we may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Yeah.